Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another video. Today we are back with another jailbreak tutorial and this time, finally, the iPhone 4. This is a tutorial I didn't know if I was going to be able to make due to the fact that for the latest versions of the tool on Windows, which is where I make all my tutorials on for various reasons, basically for the latest versions of the tool for Windows, uh, it relied on some external servers, and those servers are down now, so the tool doesn't work. Go figure. So, uh, I actually found out recently that the 1.0 version doesn't have this, so we can still make the tutorial. I've already tested this out, and it does work. Uh, so I have a cleanly restored iPhone 4. This is the CDMA version. It should work fine on the GSM version as well, which I'm sure is the version most you have. The easiest way to tell is if you have a SIM slot or not. I have a GSM iPhone 4, but it's already jailbroken, so I don't want to deal with that right now. And resetting it and all that. I'd use 3U tools for that one, and before anyone comments asking me why I'm not just using 3U tools, it's because I've heard some rumors it's either mining cryptocurrency in the background, or it's just malware. I've heard rumors that it's sending uh, device info off to servers in China. Just suspicious stuff, so I just don't recommend it for those reasons, which really sucks because it's such a useful tool. But that's just, well, it is what it is. So we're just going to go use the official tool here, which is Pangu. Uh, uh, funny enough, it's also a Chinese tool, but it's reputable, at least more so than 3U tools. And it's what everyone used. Pangu were huge back in iOS 7, 8, 9. And eventually they just stopped making jailbreaks and no one remembers them. But for years, they gave us many jailbreaks. So here we go. As you can see, completely unjailbroken iPhone 4, cleanly restored. Just changed the wallpaper and enabled battery percent. So we are going to start with uh, uh, pre... what's the word? We're going to start with any prerequisites needed to run Pangu iTunes, that's it. That's all you need. Unlike any of the jailbreaks I've made tutorials for so far, like P06S Pwn, Red Snow, any of those, all you need here is iTunes. That's it. Just get the latest version of iTunes. I don't have the latest version on here, but it's like two or three versions out of date. But point is, unlike any other tool, you don't need an old version of iTunes, you don't need an old version of Windows. This is Windows 10 21 H H1. You can see 21H1 right there. Latest build of Windows 10. Don't know if it works on Windows 11. It should. I don't have... I only have it running in virtual machines, and you can't really trust a virtual machine to work as well as real hardware for something like a jailbreak. But it should work. And I doubt many people are on Windows 11 yet. But if anyone's on one of the betas, just go ahead and tell me. Or if you're watching this in the future when Windows 11's been launched, then also tell me. Anyways, uh, I'm now plugged in on 30 pin. This iPhone 4 is really beat up, by the way. It has the uh, audio IC bug. Just listen to what the sound it makes when I plug it in. <laughs> Not real good there, but anyways, uh, I'll leave a link to Pangu in the description. It's in this uh, master archive file, which is located on uh, Mega. I'll leave instructions down below on how on the directories to go through in the folder on Mega to download it and find the actual file because it's a, basically a huge collection of all kinds of legacy jailbreak tools. It's really useful, but uh, if anyone has a hard time finding it, I'll leave instructions on the folder directory to go down in the description. But here we go. I'm just going to run it, and here we also go. You can see it's already picked up iPhone 3,3, 3, that's my CDMA version. With iOS 7.1.2, click jailbreak button to start. Now there's this checkbox here to install an app called PP25. Uh, I, for, I don't even know what this does, it's all in Chinese, again this is a Chinese tool. Uh, but I, I, they bundled it with a lot of their old jailbreaks and there's really no point in having it. so. I'm just going to leave that unchecked. I think it's some, like, cleanup optimization app. It, even if you install it, it's, you can just go and uninstall it in Cydia later on, so it's not really a big deal. Again, I take Chinese in school, but I'm not, I'm not fluent, so I can't read what the app is or what it does, but I don't know. If you know what it is and you want it, you can do that. Anyways, so right after you hit jailbreak, you'll see this. 
It's going to ask you to adjust the system time, and it's going to give you this tutorial, but I'll give you one myself. Go to settings, uh, focus, go to si focus, there, go to settings, general, and then go to date and time, uncheck set automatically, and then select this, and start scrolling. You'll have to do this for a while, because you have to go back at least, uh, what's it, oh, math, at least seven years. Yeah, oh, six, no, six, no, seven, yeah, seven years. You'll have to go back seven years here, so this is going to take a while. Oh, and I've scrolled all the way back to 2007. It says it's injecting bundles. Wait a minute. Oh no, I think I screwed it up. Don't screw it up. Not July 7th. Not July 2nd. Uh, June 2nd. I don't know why it needs you to do this. And there, as soon as I actually put it back, it makes some progress. So don't scroll too far back. Or you could screw something up. I hope this still works this time. Anyways, it seems to be working, and then after this, the tool, if it will focus, is going to ask you to go back on the phone. My autofocus isn't working. My iPhone's been acting wonky with focus uh, recently. I'll just have to deal with it, sorry. I'm not getting a new iPhone until this one loses iOS support. Anyways, uh, it'll ask you for a confirmation, just hit continue. And then that's all you need to do. Set the phone down. And if we f manually switch focus back to my laptop, you'll see that it is now processing. It says just wait a few minutes. It will take like maybe one or two minutes. So you actually do have to wait. So do that. And now it's going to reboot the device. And it's also going to remind us do not dis disconnect your device. Oh, gotta love that. Oh, I bumped it. Rebooting. And now it'll say waiting for response. Please make sure your device isn't passcode protected. If it is, just unlock it. Yeah, passcodes are bad. Uh, so, yeah. Probably should have made a reminder to remove any passcodes. Oh, I had text up on screen earlier in the video. It'll be fine. Now, when I was testing this out, it actually froze and timed out here. So, uh, oh, we got the storage almost full. I don't know why, but jailbreaks always seem to have the storage almost full pop up when they're doing their thing. Yeah, and there we go, clean up. All right, so it worked the first try. Uh, yeah, earlier on. Uh, when I tested this before recording, uh, it timed out there, and I had to try it again, and then it worked the second time, so if it didn't work, just try it again. I didn't have to iTunes restore or anything. Uh, so, yeah, that's all. Now it's going to say it's done, and I think we are either respringing or rebooting here. So, I can go ahead and... Uh, Shut down my laptop and unplug my iPhone, and it's rebooting. Now, after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna reangle my camera here. After this, it'll go into a few stages where it'll just uh, go through some more stuff, but it's all on device. So yeah, right here. Welcome to Pangu Jailbreak, and then it's just gonna keep doing stuff. Enjoy the jailbreak. I definitely will, and I hope you all will too. Alright, so, uh, now, uh, my phone ran out of space, sorry, but we're in city now, so you'll open it up, you'll see preparing file system, this will take probably five plus minutes. It actually does take a while, so I'm gonna do a cut here while I wait. Alright, so final step in the jailbreaking process. This is my other iPhone 4, but I'm demonstrating because I already did this on my other iPhone 4, but the one I just showed you, myself jailbreaking. 
but uh, this is a this is my main iPhone 4, and I wanted to demonstrate this here because uh, it I didn't really explain it well. So the, what you need to do now is update the actual untether package in Cydia. Now, the reason you need to do this is because it can cause some instabilities apparently when it's not updated, and it can also uh, break Coolbooter. Coolbooter doesn't work on this device, and I've always wondered why, and now I think I know. Changes, what's here? Oh, it's Coolbooter. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I haven't updated this since June 2nd. Anyways, the first thing you need is you need the Filza file manager. Not dark mode. The file manager. So go ahead and install that. I'm going to continue queuing. And then you need a Safari download manager. We'll try this one. I think this is the one I used. Yes. I believe so. And then hit confirm and download all the packages. Alright, we've resprung and both those packages are now installed. Next, you need to go into Safari. Not YouTube. There's a very specific link you need to go to. I'll leave it in the description. It's long and boring. So, yeah. Well, we, so it's uh, apt.sorek. And then you'll see the download manager say done and it wasn't focused. Oh well. Forgot this home button's a little finicky. Next, enter into fills a file manager, and then just do a general search. And I'm not activated. Okay. Do a general search in the root for I'm going to type axe7, as just that's one of the lines in the file we just downloaded. And I'll let it search. This could take a couple minutes. It has to search the entire root of your phone. So I'm just gonna wait it out. Aha! I have found it. Well, not yet. As you can see, there are multiple files with this name, but none of these are .deb. So... We're gonna keep waiting. Still waiting, huh? I really gotta find the folder this download manager saves to. <gasps> found it! September 23rd, 2021. Should be the current date. And now the great thing about Filza is you can install directly from it. So we are installing the package. That's all you need to do. And then once nothing's happened for a bit, you can just hit done and, and that's it. Now if I enter into Cydia, it should show 03 as the name for the untetherer. And now you can use Coolbooter and all that. And you should be good. So let's find it here. Expert, find it, version 03. Now I'm gonna reboot and uh, that should be done. Of course, I've already done this on the 4, I just jailbroke. Uh, I just didn't explain it very well because it was my first time trying it, so I did everything sort of backwards and I didn't want to do that for a video I'm publishing. So luckily I have the second one that needed it anyway. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Thank you all for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Now your device will be jailbroken and ready to use. See everyone later.